Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's oh, bad. I'm glad I wasn't misremembering that one. That that was real. Where is Rhyme's sandwich that he sent me? That motherfucker. I could not believe when he sent me this. This shit was actually offensive. I was hoping Afro oh. would have his cooking videos in like a playlist somewhere, but of course not. Yeah, he uh Martyr, he made a sandwich, but he made he put he basically assembled the whole sandwich and then put the entire thing in the air fryer to cook. Yeah, and it wasn't uh, even fried right. But look what he sent me. I don't know if you've seen this. Rhyme sent me this and goes, look at what I made. Isn't it delicious? Yeah, that was the air fryer meal. That's still 100% better than what I've seen after this. No, I, I, I believe it now if you're saying that. But like, holy shit. I couldn't believe Rhyme texted me that and he goes, this shit is fire. And I texted him back and I said, this is the most offensive shit you could have ever sent me. I was like, never send me some shit like this again. This was crazy. If you want to watch just 20 minutes of pure, terrible cooking, here's Afro baking spaghetti. Oh my god. Oh, is it, that, that was a rough one. It's been a while. That looks worse than Denny's. I would 100% tell you that that is worse than Denny's, whatever Ryan made. You can order anything off that Denny's menu and you're getting something better than the air fryer sausage sandwich he made. See, yeah, that, that's a bold choice. See, that's why I don't really care if I'm doing something blindfolded. Because it's good. I assumed it was going to be bad. You know what I mean? Which it, it didn't look good. I picked kind of the wrong the cheese too. Which is funny because at a certain point I thought I got the mozzarella. And I was like, this is the finest mozzarella from Italia. And I was like saying that. It's, it was sharp cheddar cheese. Like shitty sharp cheddar <laughs> cheese. So I don't even know if the bag was facing the right way. But hopefully it was. So yeah, I don't really care that much if it looked that bad. Because it's literally blindfolded. What do they expect? But but uh, I thought you were going to get more of the bad toppings. I got, I, I thought I was too, but I'm glad that I didn't because that shit was ass. The bag is facing the correct way. Let's fucking go. That'll be good in the video. Deacon can zoom in on it when I say it's good, fine, grated mozzarella cheese and it's cheap ass sharp cheddar. Oh, do you give a shit if I, uh, if I watch your vlog on stream? No, 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 not at all. Okay. I was gonna run chat, but that'd be cool with you guys. I, I never, I never it. care about stuff like that. Thunder, just say no. I don't know if you guys have seen the the Disney vlog, but I was gonna, I was gonna go through that and give the play by play chat. Do it as fire. I'm skimming just through the vod, and I, this is m much more evenly placed than I would have expected. Martyr, you know what? I'll keep you around as a, as a friend because uh, thank you. There's some kind words you're giving me. Disney vlog, Disney vlog was funny, chat. Is it streaming? Not at the moment. No, I ended because I'm dead inside. Her thunder was. A, I don't know who told you I was a bad pilot. Somebody put a cap a comment on the video that said that castle isn't tiny. In fact, I think it's quite large, and I bet it has a nice personality too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else said 30% of the video is cynic giggling. What did you think? I was laughing at Thunder's joke. Hey, what up, man? How you doing? I should have recorded the lightsaber prank. I know, dude. That was funny. Me turning off all the lights in the Airbnb and waiting for Thunder to get out of the bathroom. Oh, my so God. Funny. That was just so weird because <laughs> I kept walking out. And the only thing I'm thinking is, like, we never turn off all the lights ever. Something is weird. And then... Yeah, I stepped yeah, either out. you were getting robbed or I got kidnapped or it was me hiding somewhere in the corner. <clears throat> Which, you can't lie, it was a cool effect when I turned on my lightsaber. I step out of the room in a complete darkness and then the corner of the room would just bzzz, when a red lightsaber glows up. Yeah, it was fire. If I was ever going to get killed by a lightsaber, I would want it to be like that. So now who would want to kidnap you, though? Pretty based. Maybe our Robert E. Lee Uber driver. That's about it. Yeah, dude was. <laughs> that dude was something else. Yeah, that was a wild experience. Said, you guys want to help me steal this cast thing? And before my mind registered that that was a joke, that shit was not funny. I was like, I was like, uh, uh, no, do not joke about doing crime when I am in your vehicle and I have no means to escape. That is way less funny then. <laughs>
I mean, you could just oh. do the tuck and roll. No, 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 no. We were on the highway driving next to a gas thing. Funnily was, enough... Huh? I was going to say, funnily enough, she talked about tucking and rolling down the side of a hill because it would be fun. Wrapped in a blanket. Moments before that, that yeah. And if you got kidnapped, you'd be brought brought back two seconds later. I think so, too. I think they'd be like, holy shit, get her out of my car. You know what's crazy? One of my exes used to say that to me. I asked him, I said, what would you do if I ever got kidnapped? You know, it's like how you ask your boyfriends, would you still love me if I was a turtle? <laughs> like, Thunder, <laughs> would you still be my friend if I was a turtle, by the way? Can you talk? Mm, no, I'm a regular turtle. No, I don't think so. What the fuck? I don't, dude? I don't think I don't think you could provide enough to the friendship at that point. Just I'm gonna go to Dotto's. He's just a turtle. That being said, what, while we might not be the turtle? best of friends, I would still I would still like keep you safe or whatever you know. Like we get you a little turtle thing. Thanks. It'd be, you'd be a little turtle cage, you know. Take you out to the movie every now and again. Dotto, would you instead of the PS5, you just have a little turtle friend. cage in the corner there. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> we just uh, keep sending right back here. Turtle. What kind of turtle? Would you outlive me? Would you be the one of the turtles that lives like 250 years? No, Dotto said he would. He said he likes turtles. Yeah, I'm not a huge turtle guy. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the. Okay, what's your beef with turtles? I didn't. I don't dislike turtles. I'm just not like. Is that a fucking turtle? You know, like I don't know. That's not me. No. Oh. Would you still be my friend if I was a rabbit? I feel like rabbits are harder to look after. You're going the wrong direction. Would you still be my friend if I was an ant? Yes. What if, I was a talking, what if I was a talking ant, but you could only hear me if you took one of your AirPods or your headphones, the microphone, and put it up to my mouth, then I could talk. Yes, but I would not want the responsibility of keeping you alive. We're supposed to be friends. Right, right we would be, but like... I feel like being friends doesn't imply that you have to keep we'll look after her. You're just friends. Harder. If I was a turtle, would you look after me? Probably. Then that's an upset. Thunder, you're a bad friend. I feel, like take, I feel like looking after a turtle would be relatively easy. Martyr, next time I get an Airbnb in California, uh, you are welcome to stay on the couch. Oh my Thunder god. Thunder has been replaced. What are these hypotheticals? It's girl stuff. <laughs> All right, what up, Zesh? How you Thunder, doing? If I was a spider, <laughs> would you squish me? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I think these are so funny because I never asked them genuinely. But once I found out that they were a meme, I, I laughed so hard at the idea of asking a man, would you still love me if I was a turtle that couldn't speak? And then him being like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. That is so funny. Yeah. Holy shit, that is so funny. That's why I would ask the kidnappers if they kidnap me. I go, would you still kidnap me if I was a turtle? And then they'd be like, what the fuck? That's what would get you sent back. That's what they would turn right around. Yeah, they would, they would turn around and send me back. They'd be like, I'm fucking over that. But what type of turtle would you be? Not a snapping turtle because they're mean. I'd be one of those like little cool tank turtles. You know what I mean? The tiny little ones that you find in ponds. Otherwise, if I'm a giant tortoise, you know, I might get sent to some zoo. I'm a snapping turtle. I might just be mean. And <sighs> they might not keep me. Although, I'm a small turtle. Although, if you were just a giant tortoise, like, can you just have a giant tortoise walking around your house? I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. Like, how would I hang out with my friends as a giant tortoise? I'd be in a zoo. I mean, you, you could just, you could, I mean, you don't have to be. No, nah, if, if you we were, a, if we you were your friends, you wouldn't be in the zoo. If you were a huge turtle, as long as you were potty trained, I'd let you walk around my house. Do whatever. Oh, are you going to give me, like, a turtle diaper? No, you're going to be potty trained, which means half your day is going to be spent walking to and from whatever your designated bathroom spot. I was going to say, that's a slow <laughs> yeah. process, dude. I'm never going to make it that far through the house before I have to walk back. <laughs> and I have a tiny little bladder, dude. Imagine get, a turtle bladder. That's worse. Get to the living room and watch three seconds of TV before she's got to turn it around. Yeah, dude. A turtle bladder is worse. Does Senna know there are wild tortoises? No, I've never recognized them as this thing. I refuse. Wild tortoises don't exist. 
They're mythical creatures, like unicorn. <clears throat> the that, that's the problem, Chad. She just didn't know about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that there's any such thing as wild animals, Chad. Only girlfriends that turn into animals. Women's month, am I right? They're myth like the women's orgasm. What's that? Yeah, sometimes she just talks. <laughs> and she'll just say whatever. I'm going to be wrong the same page as seeing how far she was going to go. No, I'm not just talking. I'm just saying I don't know what a women's orgasm is. And neither did any of my ex boyfriends. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Anyways. <laughs> Oh my god. Next. An orgasm, is that what you cook with? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Wait, 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 wait. I may watch this. I may watch this vlog. Experience depression. What are we doing here? Alright, Thunder, hypothetical. Hmm? You are in a, you're on top of a hill in California, right? You roll yourself up in a blanket. And then you roll down, okay? You just roll down. Do you survive, yes or no? Okay, a hill is extremely, like, vague in this scenario. Oh. Well, I mean, according to Rhyme... Oh my god, I forgot about this. Chat. Rhyme and Kayla, I actually... I actually wanted to punch them in this moment with love. Because we're driving. We see mountains, right? And me and Thunder are like, those are mountains. And Rhyme goes, no, those are hills. And I said, those are not hills. What kind of fucking hills are, are you, you looking at? Why are you not huh? calling them mountains and hills? Why are you, why are you, why are you <laughs> singularing it? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> mountains and hills. Okay, your S's were falling off at the end. Oh, but like oh, every why. time you're like we see mountain and they said hill but like it happened like six times I was like there's no way she's not doing that no I was saying mountains and hills okay it's probably my ds -er was probably picking up a little too much okay because I was definitely saying mountains and hills like plural no that was fucking me up anyway yeah so th this happened yeah so so they're sitting there and they're saying like uh and they're they're saying like no those are hills and we're like those are definitely big enough to be mountains like what are you talking about and Rhyme is swearing up and down, no. So I was like, I don't know what hills you've, like, been on as a child or whatever, but those are not hills. They have, like, like they might as well have snow on them. I think only one of them did. And then Rhyme looks it up, and it's dead ass an entire mountain range. It's the whole thing. One of them was even like, called Mount something. It was so stupid. What if it's, like, a square and rectangle type thing, where a mountain is technically a hill, but a hill is not a mountain? said what this doesn't sound right L like a square and rectangle type thing you know how a square is technically a rectangle but a rectangle is not a square but mountains and hills instead i see where your head's at i don't think that's the case train's going by chat all right i'm pulling this vlog up do you guys want to watch this with me sure Why boink? There we go. What makes a mountain a mountain? We talked about that too, and we came to the conclusion that we have no idea. And anytime we Googled it, Google also had no idea. Yeah, I'm I just thought of he would still be my friend if I was a spider. Do not put him through this ringer. I'm doing it. Chat, I'm going to link you the video so you can subscribe to Sinna's YouTube channel if you're not already. But this is the vlog of the day we went to Disney. <clears throat> it's going to be around this corner. All right, I'll be back. Are you leaving? Mm hmm. Oh. Okay, bye. What time are we doing? What time is movie stuff? I guess 11. I'll check the Discord. An hour? I can do an hour. All right. Okay. Anyways, chat Disney. Kayla told 
Senna at breakfast this morning. Like, hey, if you've seen the Disney castle, you've probably seen the Disney World castle. Disney World castle is huge. And it looks like the one in the beginning of the movies. The Disneyland castle is not that big by comparison. Kayla said this, all right? This was, this was like a known thing. Ready for you, ready? Yeah. Senna did not listen. <laughs> Isn't it tiny? Oh, I'm so mad! <laughs> 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 This is my favorite part, by the way, Chad, is walking through this area with, like, little townhouses and shit everywhere. <laughs> Why are we pointing at the size? It's, it's still a castle, so does the job. It's not about how big it is, it's about how it's used. <laughs> say it. These nuts? Wait, what's to say? No, not... What do I say? Where are we going? We're going to go... Is that Wind Waker music? It's not a familiar. We go lightsaber dildos. It does kind of sound okay, like Wind Waker music. can you not call them that? They are called that, right? It's like Saber Wieners, so let's be Yeah, let's, let's, let's be accurate, all right? I want to point out again for this trip that Rhyme is a man-child, and even when we were around, like, children and women who had strollers, he was still calling. He'd be like, that's a tree wiener, and he pointed a tree. It's like, we are near people, man. <laughs> this is real life. For some ears? 29. They're 29. No, you need to get dildos. Remember, anything in the dildo could break. Dinner refused to buy a mi mini ears, which were $30, but... Then we went and bought these lightsabers, which are over 200 bucks. I'm just going to throw that out. I'm glad we're getting the lightsabers because right fair. before I left home, right, right before I left home, I almost lost my virginity, so I really need to lock it down. <laughs> so if I get yeah, no, I'm safe again, chap. <laughs> oh, wait, we make them out of table. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Those lightsabers. Yeah, we do this for the experience. I'm not going to lie, chat. This, this part, they tried to be very immersive. And I'm sure for the right people, it was cool. This was boring as shit. She gave us a speech about how we gotta go save the galaxy or something. Building it was cool. Like, actually taking the pieces and putting it together was cool. Listening to her ramble on about how they need us for the, uh... For the mission and all that shit was blame a ship. Do you want another decent quality? Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, they're good quality. They don't fold back up, so it's it's always out. You just either turn the light on or off, but... Yeah, they're they're very solid quality-wise. A friend of mine went to Disney for his funny man and was telling me about this, and I was like, that's cool and all, but... I'm not a big enough Star Wars nerd to want to sit there and do that. Or to sit there and hear all that. I just want to make my lightsaber go. I, yeah, I, I wouldn't have done it if people hadn't been there. And I... Yeah. It's not like you're in there forever. It's probably like a 10 minute process, but... Like six of those minutes are just her talking. Yeah. So, they, you saw her pick those crystals out earlier. Um, you build the whole thing, and once you have your lightsaber, you have it. But then any... You can pull out any crystal and put in any crystal, and like that's supposed to be the uh, color, I guess. That's how that works. But we we all built Sith ones, and Kayla built a purple one, and I was gonna build a purple one, and in my head I'm like, I bet everyone builds purple ones, and then I got red, and everybody got red. So. That but, I feel like red and blue would be like purple. Out of all the options, Ryman Sinna made the exact same lightsaber, and mine was almost exactly like theirs, except I had the top part and bottom part flipped. Now that we got our lightsaber, we can go on a whole ass mission. Who has to drive a spaceship? Yeah. No, we're, dri cool. we're driving the spaceship. We have to drive it. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be our shooters. Do you think that they're good at shooting? Uh, Ryan plays a lot of Valor, but I don't think he's great. He's not that good at Valor. If Em was here, that would be really yeah, top here. Be don't let Ryan hear that I said that part. You know, with Ryan on the guns, I don't really know how we're gonna do. Yeah, no, you're. An, I've seen you play Mario Kart. You're an expert. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Gunner. If you zoom in on that uh, droid right there, he's putting his wiener on the wall. All day, this is him. You see it? That doesn't shock me at all. Yeah. All fucking day. <laughs> this part was cool. These are animatronics. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> anyway, Thunder, we're pilots. Thanks. And these two are gunners. But you play Valorant, right? So yeah, so I'm, I'm good at this. Come closer. Get closer. Oh, out here. Ah, a brand new flight crew. I make a speak to the manager you here. No. You will be intercepting a This ride was cool. I'll talk about it here in a second. Of coaxia. Gunners, you play the fast. Pilots, line up behind yeah. them. Oh. I will be coming along. Oh no, this isn't the ride I thought it was. Never no. mind this ride. The, no, the other ride was cooler. This one's still neat though. We have managers coming with us. You don't like the guy? We just not have a you manager. You want to talk to him? Is that what it is? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Next time, as we set forward for safety, remain seated and supervise young ladies. So, right, okay, okay. Kayla and Ryan were the gunners. Cinna was in charge of going up and down, and I was in charge of going left and right. And there's a small delay, so this is actually pretty hard to steer. 
for me. She only had to go up and down, though. I don't know what she did. This is cool. I think Rhyme is filming this. I think it's on Rhyme's wrist right now. Osina just ran us into a ship. We're one second in. This was neat. Um, yeah, if I went back, I wouldn't. I feel like it's one of the things you got to do once. But like, I'm not dying to do it again. Yeah. What's going on, Vod Nation? Cinna doing a vlog here. There's people around, but we don't care. Yeah. Okay. So we just wants to go to Disney. Ride, and uh, Cinna did a really yeah. when for that TwitchCon weekend. Ah, uh, yeah. The drive's not that bad. It's doable. Um, and we actually went to California Adventure this one too, which I had never been to California Adventure either. Did she crash? I went. We crashed a lot. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, when I was really little, I went to, I think, just Disneyland, and that was it. I know there's a picture of me being scared of Goofy in a stroller. And that is all my experience. <laughs> I've been to World once. I've been to Disneyland two or three times now. I've been to World once, and I want to go back to World so bad because World is so much bigger. There's just so much more shit, um, going on. But I, yeah, I, I really want to. But if I go back to World, I want to save up and then like literally go for like, like four or five days. So you have a day for yeah. every park, and then you stay at night and all that stuff. I want to go when they have the Mario World built in Universal next year. Say it again. They have the what? Uh the Super Mario World is coming to Universal next year. Oh, man. And they're both down there, too. They're both, like, right there. I've never been to Universal. Yeah. I feel too small for Disneyland anymore. You feel too small for Disneyland? I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'd hit my head while on Space Mountain. Oh, yeah. Disneyland. It's just, yeah, just tiny overall. Dotto playing as Walter White in WWE 2K22. Good for him. Hold on. Okay. Here we go over Cinna's driving. What's going on, Vod Nation? Cinna doing a vlog here. There's people around, but we don't care. Yeah, okay, so we just got off the Star Wars ride, and uh, Cinna did a really good job of honoring Women's History Month uh, by yeah, driving like Helen is. Keller <laughs> at, at the helm of the plane. Yeah. <laughs> she was my co pilot. She yeah. Was really just fucked it up. And Thunder everything. said he was going to take no. Okay, but Thunder I also drove bad, too. No, he didn't. <laughs> Rhyme sold that so well. I actually did kind of drive like shit. Not as bad as her, but I kind of drove like shit. Because there's a delay, right? So, you, like, I would slam this thing left, and then it wouldn't go left right away. So then when you start, by the time you start going left, it's like, oh, we're too far left, and you got to crank it right. So I was doing a lot of this, but Rhyme did a really good job selling it. I thought that was funny. Rhyme, you also, your aim was not great. Just it's not that my aim was great. You just drove terribly. <laughs> you had one job. I had a 26% accuracy at the end. That's awful. <laughs> He's bragging about 26. 26%. 26%. Last time I went to Disney World, my mom literally try. pushed me out of the way to take her pictures with Mickey and Minnie. You got a Disney parent. You got a Disney adult for a parent. I see you. Okay, this ride was cool as shit. This is the one that... She'll talk about it in a minute, but Kayla and Ryan were pretty sure there weren't any drops on this ride. Uh, this ride isn't like... Fun if you're looking for a ride in like a roller coaster sense. Like I want, I want to move fast and do all this. This ride is a really, really good visual experience because um, you do slide around a bunch. But basically, this is the line. So you're in a line, and then you think you get to the ride, and they put you in this this box, and it's like a spaceship, right? And you get in the spaceship box, and you travel a little bit, and they've got all this VR stuff like around on the sides and everything. So you're getting all these radio readings, and your ship gets uh, taken over by the bad guys, right? By the Sith or whatever. And when they take over you, they, they funnel you out of the, the first ride you were on. And then you walk into a room and you see these guys. I'm just, I think these are all animatronics. I have no fucking idea. But you see all these guys. And they make you feel like, oh, no, we got captured. And then when you're captured, we leave this room and we go into another one. And they line you up. And they're dressed like the bad guys from the newer movies, from the new Star Wars movies. And they put you in your torture chambers or whatever. They're going to come back and kill you. And then... All of a sudden, the wall breaks, and the door pops off, and a, guy, a good guy comes in to save you, and then he throws you in another ride. And then he's like, okay, we gotta get out of here. And then the bad guys break in again, and then your ride, a door opens, and your ride just takes off. And it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Cool. But the line, yeah, if I go back, I would definitely want to ride this one again. But yeah, no, that, this one's, this one's, it's new. I don't know how long it's been there, like only a couple months, but if that, but this one is... 
This is an experience. Yeah, that is a sick way to, like, get people through the line, too. Kayla and Rhyme said they don't know, but they think that there's not. I promise I've seen the YouTube video. There's no drama. It's all on the ground. Yeah, so, like, I go into a surgery. I'm like, if the doctor goes, I just watched the YouTube video on this, I'm like, I'm in. I'm all in. Okay. Let me see if I can pause this at the right time. I'm all in. So again, when this ride goes to start, I'm trying to like reassure Cinna because Cinna really, really does not like drops on rides at all. She didn't want to ride any roller coaster with drops on. And this one, again, nobody had ridden it, but they were pretty sure that there wasn't. Um, but I'm over there trying to reassure Cinna because we we finally get into the second part of the ride that I was telling you about, and it's a box. You're you're sitting in a box, open top. Obviously, you can see here. Um, but we're not on rails, right? We're not, which I've never seen a ride like this before. We're not on rails at all. And I lean over to Cinna, I'm like, yeah, I think this is going to be one of those, like, VR things where they put a screen in front of us, and the box kind of lifts up, and then just sort of shakes us a little bit. You know what I mean? Because there's another Star Wars ride at Disney that does that. I'm like, we'll be fine. I don't think this thing can even go anywhere. Two seconds after I say that, a big door that I didn't think would open to our right opens up, and our thing just slings. It kind of operated like a Roomba almost, except I'm sure there was some underground magnet path it had to follow. But you could go forward, like, you could go 360. Three, you go literally any direction. And as soon as we take off, I'm like, oh, no, this thing's got to drop. Um, you can't see this. This right here is Finn from the movie. I think it's the animatronic. Uh, these are AT-ATs. The, this vlog doesn't do a good job of showing this ride up, but this ride is really fucking cool. Um, and then we shoot up, okay? And Cinna, this whole ride, this ride's like, I don't know, a few minutes. Cinna's trying to be brave, right? You know, she doesn't like the drop. She's trying to be brave. But if you look closely, you can actually pinpoint the exact moment she gives up on that entirely and makes it my problem. <laughs> and it's right there. <laughs> so that we just went up that wasn't the drop we just went up but when this cuts here in a second you're gonna see kayla sees it coming and then i'm pointing it out to her like hey that we we went up we're gonna have to go back down and this is the part where it's gonna happen no way, no way. so this is kayla like begging for there not to be a drop and i'm like no nah, that's right fucking here get ready <laughs> my category is still mario kart shit But like perfectly cut off screen that was great yeah yeah the editing on this is really good that was super fun that was enjoyable yeah i mean maybe not for everybody but like we... Cinna did not know she didn't even realize because she was so into it i guess or whatever she dropped her phone on that ride just because she wasn't having enough anxiety this day already uh she dropped her phone somewhere on that ride so she got out and i was i was at the end of it so i was the last one to get out she got out and i just grabbed it and put it in my pocket and i didn't say anything and we walked for like maybe seven minutes or so after this, and I see her start digging around in her purse and looking for stuff, and I, I, I let it hang for like maybe 20 seconds, let the panic wash over her face. I'm like, you left it on the ride, and I pull it out and gave it back to her. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna let it rock a little bit longer, but her day was rough enough. That's fair. I just like walking around, man. Wet right now. In this, I love this whole zone area. It's purely sexual. Yeah, it looks, it looks very nice. My butt is wet right now. It's not what you think, guys. It's, it's purely sexual. <laughs> this didn't show a lot of. What, what else did we do? We did the pirates ride. Um, oh, we have to take a cool picture. We're in line for the cars right at the end. We did a few more rides. I just, I'm, I'm forgetting all of them that we. <laughs> that we went on. Some comparison. Just so you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> this is a massive tricky dick. Let me see it. This is, this, this is my favorite part. This might be my favorite part of the whole vlog. This woman right here is looking at him and hears him say turkey dick. <laughs> this is a massive tricky dick. Let me see it. This is what and you can just see it on her face. Like, water, what is wrong with this man? <laughs> what do we do with the Sonys? Yeah, <laughs> fucking pour it into the desert to make it drier. Let me see here. Wait, turn your light on. <laughs> this is the worst purchase I've ever made in my entire existence of being alive. And I'll have you guys know, oh, I bought Dogecoin before the dip. <laughs> 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 
Zinner just looks so unhappy. What's happening? <laughs> How much was it, Thunder? How much did that cost? Uh, $30. That's like a lot cheaper than I thought you were going to say. I, it also came with a water, and those are like, you know, $7, so. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. But yeah, that was the Disney vlog, and now we have it. Now we have it forever. He said, excuse me? Yeah. No, I was fed up at that point, because, guy, we got our lightsabers, like... We were not that far. Well, we had not been at the park that long when we got the lightsabers. Because we either could have got... All the appointments for the midday were booked up. So we either could have got them right when we got there or at the very end of the day. And I wish so much we would have backed it up to get them, get them at the end of the day instead. Because uh, I just you had to carry it over your shoulder all fucking day. And that was... And then we are probably in, in our last like hour and a half of being at the park. And Rhyme talks me into... I went pretty willingly, but Rhyme talked me into getting the fucking Thanos gauntlet. So now I'm sitting here with this thing slung over my shoulder and a Thanos gauntlet. I'm like, I hate holding shit. I feel that. Those I lightsabers are walking around all day with some shit with any, with anything other than like a water. Yeah. When I tell you, I I know it was over 200 bucks, but I wasn't out of there with that lightsaber for 10 minutes before I thought about just giving it to a kid because I, I did not want to carry that shit all day. <laughs> like here you go but then you're like wait this is two hundred dollars you know it would be more worth it if i just gave this away so i don't have to deal with this ship right, i'm gonna, gonna dip and find myself food all right good talking to you man yeah it's, it's been too long new year's it was it was new year's wasn't it? we got drunk and played mario kart <laughs> yes that, that's right <laughs> all right see you man later I love him. I would have seen your face and legit asked for it autographed. I would autograph. Like, I'll, I'll sign whatever if, you know, people see me and, and want that or whatever. That don't bug me. I would have made you pay the $200 for the lightsaber. <laughs> you would have came up to me. I would have been like, yeah, but this is 200 bucks. Oh, shit. Chat, I was going to start Cuphead tonight. We're going to start Cuphead soon. Um, I think we're doing Final Fantasy tomorrow. I need to buy Final Fantasy Origins. I think we're doing Final Fantasy tomorrow. Uh, but it looks like movie night is starting in half an hour with everybody. So I'm not going to start Cuphead tonight, but we will start Cuphead soon. What is a tweet early? Any plans? Yeah, yeah. So we have um what up, Dur? We have uh we have games to play right now. We're starting Final Fantasy Origins. I can still go back into my rise and I want to start Cuphead. Those are the big three. Oh, and Genshin. Uh is is like a late night cool off, chill out game once everybody like kind of a situation like now, if we're not doing movie night that night. Um where you know we stay up and call with Sen and Hom and, and BB and uh you know whoever's around. Um uh, Genshin. We, we might actually kick over and start playing Genshin. Also. But yeah, co-op Final Fantasy. Is Horizon dead in the water? For now, yes. It's it's a big commitment. And on top of being a big commitment, I actually, I really like, even, the, even though I haven't been streaming as much as I should be lately, I really like where my stream numbers are. And I know by the time we get to the third or fourth stream of Horizon, the stream numbers just aren't going to be there because it's just the kind of game it is. And I feel like I'm at a point where I kind of start, as much as, you know, I, I want to play the games I like, I'm I always want to do something I like. I don't, ever, I don't think I'm ever going to stray and then do something I don't like instead. But uh, I, I, I would like to be at a point where I'm still growing on Twitch and all that. Later, Duelist. Have a good night, bud. Watching a walkthrough of My Rise, like how the social media work. I want to play through it just to play through it. I mean, that'll be hype regardless. Um, but yeah, as long as there's good shit in there, too. New Final Fantasy, good. Okay, Cox Slamma Jamma, have you ever... Th this is my... And I don't know, I haven't played it. This is my impression new Final Fantasy movie. Have you ever gone to see a movie that is really corny, but it knows it's really corny, and it leans into it? Because from what I understand, that's kind of what the story and dialogue is like in the new Final Fantasy. Um, and then the gameplay, it's made by the same people who made Neo, which is a very 
Dark Soulsy light game. It's got its own style, but still. So I guess the gameplay is also pretty hard, which I think will be fun. Um, but I th- before playing it, I think I will like it, especially because we're playing it with friends. Okay, so it's exactly like every... No, no, no. It's not exactly like every new Final Fantasy because every new Final Fantasy is corny, but it doesn't lean into being corny. Final Fantasies can be corny, but not they're typically not intentionally corny. They don't lean into it. They're trying to tell you a, a big story. This Final Fantasy is corny, and it knows it's corny. It, it's almost like... It's almost like... You, you ever watched a B movie that knows it's a B movie? Knows it's a straight-to-DVD movie? And it just plays into that really heavy. It's like that, except there's a triple A, bigger scale. Um, Sukio, thank you for the four months. Dion, hey Dion, I think it's 19 months. Hey, big head. Hey, big head, how you doing? Dion, you're not about to go live by chance. Like in the next 30 seconds. What's the over under on this? Yes, Final Fantasy Origin, Stranger of Paradise. From what I understand, it's like a loose retelling of Final Fantasy 1. No chance, I'm slumped. Okay, just checking. Seven hours of driving? Good God. Man, it was in the trenches. Uh, chat, 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 chat. Where are we going? You guys in a heathenous enough mood? I don't, I don't think I can do that to you. I don't think I can do that to you right now. Uh, Bird's playing Mario Party. Uh, Mario Party. Y'all go say to Bird for me. Bird's a homie. Bird's a homie. Hope we'll get to play games with him soon. I did watch the JJK movie. It's fire. It's fire. Rewatching season one, then we pick up the manga. Y'all be easy. I'm Thunderstout. I'm out. Peace late. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.